places to put packages. Howdy friends, my name is Milo, and welcome back to another episode of what I am hesitantly calling Archaeological Unboxing, where I am going to go through all of the fan mail that shows up in my P.O. box, which is listed right here, and probably in larger letters that you can actually read somewhere else, and uh, see what sorts of terrifying things you guys have sent me. Uh, today we have uh, a live studio audience. Hello! There we go, there's that two of them. <laughs> Take two. Oh, that, sounded, that sounded so natural. Nice job, guys. So I suppose we should just get right into these. So this pile is uh, from one trip to the post office. I have no idea what I'm going to do if it keeps up at this speed. Not that that is a bad thing. So I guess we could start off with a postcard. I think I'm probably the first person to receive a postcard in about, I don't know, uh, 85, 90 years. Uh, actually, my sister well, forgive me. Yes, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> this is from Thomas from California. I really enjoy your channel and your TikTok. Thank you for the great content. Also, I hope you enjoy this history-related picture that also looks sick. Originally, when I first saw it, I thought that it was the devil. It is actually supposed to be Pluto. Pluto water, named after the ancient Roman god of the underworld. Pluto's spring still flows in the Garden of the French Lick Springs Hotel. French Lick Springs Hotel. Okay, we're gonna go into a box now. This uh, is definitely books. Something Inc. in Illinois. Jesus, this is like cemented shut. I feel like it's Christmas, look at that. Uh, Mini Minuteman Milo, which I suppose I am not one but both of those things. I feel like I'm being invited to a wedding. There's uh, two four-leaf clovers uh, taped in it. That's very sweet. Dear Milo and team, I love watching your videos. Uh, thought I'd send you my book of pseudoscience and bullshit. My grandma gave me this book for my birthday when I was 11 years old and you sent it to me? She is a, oh, oh a zealous Catholic and thought it would uh, bolster my faith seeing some of the miracles of God. I've never seen something backfire so drastically. It introduced me to cryptozoology, ancient aliens, and other fringe theories. I used to read it before bed. It was well loved. Even though it's bullshit, it pushed me away from religion and towards science. Uh, from your fan, Celia. I hand out four or five leaf clovers as good luck gifts. Conspiracy pseudoscience book is courtesy of somebody's grandmother. Oh my god, this is well loved. Oh my god, the spine is duct taped together. Oh my god, and you even inscribed it. That's amazing. Ah, yes, pyramids, one of Earth's greatest mysteries. Oh, yep, this is one of the things on the uh, awful archaeology wheel, the glossal rune stones. Jesus, that's a dense book. Thank you. Next box uh, says first ass package because the C and the L got scratched off. This is from Christopher from Virginia. Madonna. Glad I didn't do that too rough because there's something inside. It's a. Oh my god. It's a it's a 3D printed Silanthropus chadensis. That's amazing. Holy shit. That is incredible. I don't know where you got like a 3D model that's detailed enough or I shudder to think that you made that model yourself, but it's amazing. It's going to have a little uh, spot right there. Uh, Milo, I was inspired by your video, so I 3D printed this model of a Sahelanthropus chadensis. I am printing a few more for my uh, colleague's human anatomy class uh, to contrast with the modern human skull. I'm planning on printing a full-size model. The longer the print, the more prone to failure. If my apartment doesn't burn down, I'll send you one of those too. <laughs> Best Christopher. Well, uh, Christopher, uh, believe me when I say that I don't want me to be the determining factor into whether or not your apartment burns down, but if you do make one and you survive doing it and you feel generous enough to give me one, maybe I can make a little stack. I can put him on top of the big one and then put the ring on top of all of them. I have been very excited about this one from Greece. Jesus, this is like mummified. What the fuck? Really thoughtful that someone decided to send me an entire roll of tape around a cardboard box. Okay, there we go. Yo, styrofoam. Oh, okay. Firstly, we have some new coasters. Da 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 da. Look at how pretty those are. Even that, even they're like, the they're holder. They're painted on. Yeah, yeah. They're, this is beautiful. Wait, um, so we got this lovely oh, set of coasters. They're they different. Are. Oh, stop yeah. it. They're different. Here we go. We got all kinds of them. Bloop. Pretty nice. Okay, so this is the thing which I was really confused about because I don't. Okay, so this is the thing I really have no idea what it is, because if I didn't know better, I would say that this is something that if I saw sitting in an airport, I'd probably call um, TSA. If you see something, say something. Safety is sexy. Little <laughs> mummified piece of red rubber wrapped in tape. This packaging is gonna take the same amount of time as like the rest of the video. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. We have this very interesting looking cup. Do you realize that like, if you fill it up too much, it starts to drain because you're being greedy? Oh, it is. Yeah, nice. it has a hole in the bottom. That's nice. totally what it is. Interesting. Yeah, 24 karat gold. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Honey, could you put this somewhere that yeah. isn't a table where I will probably break it? What is in this? Ah, and in character, it is nearly fucking impossible to open. Oh, neat. It's a fridge magnet with a little, um, like, uh, I forget what it's called. Like a phrase. We actually don't have any magnets really on our fridge, so any magnets help. Oh my god, the amount of Oh, but fuck. Gotta... The next box comes from Phoenix in Georgia. Oh, yeah, this one's easier to open. I can just do it like this. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <gasps> it is a book. Very old book. Very old book called, oh my god, it's Dante's Inferno. That is oh, sick. sick. That is so Hell cool. Yeah. I don't know if I've, holy shit. Old. The inscription from the original owner, presumably, and then the inscription from my viewer. That's so cool. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it is old. Uh, this is, I think, the oldest book that I have. Uh, it's from um, 1849. Oh, no, 1844. Close, though. Yeah, very close. Very close. I think I will certainly be adding that in a very proud place in my collection. Uh, this one <laughs> has a uh, battery warning on it. Um, it's from Amazon, so I have absolutely no idea what it could be. Hey, as somebody who has a little experience with audio, these should be uh, some of the best easy to use lapel mics that you can buy right now. Hopefully you can put them uh, to good use. Thanks for your hard work, Wesley. Well, thank you, Wesley. That's very kind. I will absolutely be putting this to use. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, this one has a wax seal on it, which is pretty sick. Is that an R between the A and the C, K, Zrak, or is your name Zach? Dear Milo, I hope this letter finds you well, although you'll uh, probably get <laughs> probably get anxious reading this. All right, that's a very intriguing start, Zrak. I saw your first uh, mail video and knew it was a chance uh, to break out my nearly useless calligraphy set. Um, if you can't tell, I don't really get much practice with it. Uh, keep putting all of the crackpots through the historical ringer for all of us. That's wonderful. I'm gonna have to add that to my pin board. All right, I have no idea where our next one is from, again, because it is from Amazon, but it's an awfully big package. A dinosaur lunch box. <laughs> that is aw- Yo, let me get right into this right now. Are you serious? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I can bring my lunch all the way up the stairs to my office. Oh my god, this would make a great weed box. Oh <laughs> shit. No way! There's something big! Oh! We can give these to the ferrets! Midas, our <laughs> dopey boy ferret, uh, really enjoys taking things that he can fit in his, not even in his mouth, but like bath toys, like things okay. around this size. Uh, Milo bought bath toys for the ferret. Like actual, like infant bath toys. We saw them in Target. And he bought them. And I don't regret a second of it. They love them. They, they organize them by color in their bedroom. During transportation, some of the dinosaurs or trees may be squeezed and deformed. So I just did a little cut so my um, video didn't get too long, but in doing that, I opened the box of the microphones um, from a couple boxes ago. And that shit is fucking nice. Thank you very much whoever sent that. It's two uh, lapel mics with like a little dead cat on them. Um, so I'm gonna give those a try, not in this video, just because there's other people in the space and this mic can pick up better but I will absolutely be giving those a try because that could add a lot of production value to my more lecture style videos. All right, and now to the smooth, smooth sounds of someone playing music out of his car in an abandoned parking lot, we are going to open a package from Beachman from Washington. Leather? Hmm, very, oh, it's like very thin suede leather. Hello, Milo. Oh my God, and this handwriting is beautiful. Look at that. Hello, Milo. Thank you for your incredibly insightful and amusing videos. I love your vintage chalkboard, uh, but you aren't erasing very well with that, uh, with that bit of towel, are you? Old school chalkboard users know a secret and I'll let you in on it. A piece of champ, champois? Champois? C-H-A-M-O-I-S? <laughs> a little secret, if you use a chimpanzee, uh, just give it a good shake now and then to get rid of the chalk dust. Uh, this is deer hide, but same principle applies. Use it uh, in good health, for science. Thank you very much. And now, so we're gonna try the best erasing method with uh, the best chalk, apparently. We're gonna draw a skeleton, I feel like it's topical. 
You got some ribs going on, you got some arms going on, you got some elbows. And okay, and last but not least, of course, he is uh, frowning because he is, of course, dead. All right, dear skin, let's see what you can do. Holy shit! Wow. Oh, well, thank you very much for that. That is going to be uh, staying over there. And look at how nice it looks, too. That looks so much better than this ratty thing. I have a sordid history with these microfiber cloths. Um, one of my roommates in college um, was assigned to go out and get cloth napkins. And he came back with a bulk container of um, these microfiber cloths. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried wiping your mouth with a microfiber cloth, but it is probably the, one of the most uh, uncomfortable sensations that you will ever experience in your entire life. Um, so this is, I think, the last one that I have with me, so it is, uh, it's gonna be good to see it off. <laughs> this next letter is from uh, Nevada, and it does not have a name attached to it. Dear Mini Mini Man, I started watching your content on YouTube and have quite enjoyed it. I believe the first video of yours that I saw was your awful archaeology video on the Ornitius Phineas map. One thing I find amusing about the conspiracies you and others on YouTube cover and break down is that if these people uh, put that imagination into making a work of fiction, then uh, they would likely be more uh, well off uh, and others wouldn't have to endure the headache. Personally, I think it would be interesting to take a few of these conspiracy theories, Melted Buildings, Atlantis, Dendarolite, and maybe even the Electric Universe um, for some flair, and use them to create a fantasy-ish alternative Earth where the Egyptian ruins in Arizona, uh, stars are powered by galactic current, and light bulbs existed for thousands of years. Anyways, uh, despite my rambling, I hope uh, your YouTube career goes well. Signing off, DS. Uh, DS, I think you have yourself a million dollar book idea right there. I would say, um, you know, it, you definitely have more pieces of paper where this one came from. I'd say break some of them out, get a pencil sharpener, and start writing down those ideas because I think that you could have, uh, you could have something good there. The Conspiracy Theory Extended Universe. <laughs> okay, this one says, Fragile, do not bend. I do not remember bending it. Bend it. Do you want to bend it? Yeah. Alright, David in North Carolina, tell me not to bend things in my own house. Oh, Jesus! There's stuff in it. Dear Mini Minute Man, my name is David. I am 14. You have great handwriting for a 14 year old. I was first introduced to your channel when I was researching ancient Egypt and I saw your Dendera light video. Um, I was just astonished at how stupid people are. Me too. Oh, holy shit, these are insane. I think I'm gonna resume this later. And... 